avatar i think most of us might have seen it but did you know james cameron had this idea script everything ready decades ago even before uh, titanic was launched then what was that one thing that stopped him from making this movie it was technology yes technology at that time was not at par to meet his vision and that's why it was not made but today we are fortunate enough to witness this masterpiece a collaboration of art and technology wondering what am i doing today so today i'm going to talk about ai and chat gpt in film making so let's get started do you know in 2030 90% of movies would be made using ai today there's none although we are using ai in bits and pieces in some of the film making processes but not end to end now in addition with the help of chat gpt if today you want to make a short film it can be done within 24 hours imagine years and years of effort that used to go into film making has just come down to 24 hours a massive disruption is ahead of us when it comes in film making so let's look at uh, how films are made and how is ai impacting it before we unfold some of the applications of ai and chat gpt in film making it's important to for us to understand the complex process of making a film but don't worry let's simplify it's basically a three step process pre production production and post production pre production is something that i would call it as a blueprint of a movie anything that you want to execute has to be here and any flaws at this stage will have a direct repercussion in the coming stages mostly the budget explosion happens if there is a gap in pre production in in this uh, stage team actually decides about the team crew the star cast the location script of the movie and the overall budget uh, required after this uh, then uh, it moves to production production is basically executing uh, this uh, plan so all your shooting happens whether it is indoor outdoor animation whatever it is uh, that happens in the production stage post production is uh, basically where the editing of the shoots happen the vfx gets added you have background music background scenes and uh, apart from that marketing and distribution is a major uh, part of post production so that's in nutshell is all about film making now let's see where can ai and chat gpt helping here and chat gpt can help you right from ideation stage till movie distribution so let's look at it step by step for example if you have to make a movie uh, and you have a vague idea about it then go to chat gpt ask chat gpt list me ideas on uh, this topic you have an entire list ready if you are satisfied pick from it if not ask for more give me more ideas Once you have finalized the list, add your own context and then uh, ask ChatGPT write me a story on this. You have a story uh, ready for you. Once the story is available, you can ask uh, ChatGPT to write me a script on this. So a well-formatted script is available. Introduce the characters and uh, you can also write a screenplay uh, using ChatGPT. what else you need you need locations so ask chat gpt list me locations for this movie ask chat gpt list me star cast uh, appropriate for this uh, movie so basically the entire research that goes uh, at pre production stage uh, around this um, has cut down by almost 90% now another assisted tools that can be used at the stage is something called as nvidia canvas because i feel that uh, the vision or the visualization that you have about your movie i mean cascading that to your team so that they also visualize in the same way and can act upon it is a big uh, gap uh, that has been observed and a difficult task 
but right now we have something called as nvidia canvas which can be used uh, in conceptualization when you're explaining your idea to your uh, crew where on the left side you paint it or you draw it and uh, on the right side you get things live with live images another uh, one uh, which i think is a blessing for uh, film uh, makers is uh, something called as a vault now this tool actually can predict whether your movie will be a hit or flop just uh, by looking at the script of it uh, with 75 to 80 percent accuracy another one is a script book uh, so even that can evaluate your script and predict results I think uh, this is a great blessing because a lot of filmmakers have made loss by uh, realizing it only after the movie was released. This is about uh, pre-production. In production, we already know that nowadays they are using drone shots. There have been a lot of uh, innovation in the animation world. There and also the movie set props and everything is being created using 3d printing but something that caught my attention is making of avatar movie where all the actors were made to wear helmet cameras which actually captured their facial performances and that were led with the characters uh, animated characters using a tool called as volume these were not just the only cameras which were there but there were 150 to 200 fixed cameras within that indoor setup to capture all the motion of not just actors but also the moving props and uh, that's how this masterpiece was created moving to post-production it's all about editing but sometimes you need uh, musical pieces as a background music so in that case you can now use google's generative ai which is converting text into melody pieces so you will have that very soon and that can be used another one is they also need some filler shots like a sunset shot sunrise shot or a rainbow shot or birds flying uh, and all so these can now be without shooting can be created using nvidia uh, canvas or for that matter you can also use dally uh, for some of these uh, now uh, post-production also has a key element of marketing and distribution so uh, there are tools which can produce uh, predict uh, the target audience uh, like uh, claw is uh, one of the tool uh, that can help you here now uh, looking at all this disruption i don't know where are we heading um, anyways that time will tell but uh, right now my feeling is that this will democratize making film and reduce the gap between the small filmmakers and the large filmmakers and bring in more creativity and more advanced level of uh, filmmaking uh, something that we call it as a good film now if you ask me as an audience what is that i'm expecting from this film industry is that uh, that's then there is just one thing that i don't want to wear those 3d glasses for watching a 3d movie please give me a 3d movie where i don't need to wear that while it looks like a joke right now but uh, believe me something like that is coming soon hope you liked this video if you did please like share subscribe with that me Sarika Hussain signing off for today.